The goal of the AI user is to develop and deploy AI applications. In order to do this, they require access to the data, GPUs and tools that have been set up by the platform admin. For now, let's focus on a specific use case to talk through how an AI user would leverage HPE Private Cloud AI to deliver this use case. Let's imagine we are an AI application developer working for an airline. We are tasked with developing a support agent who can help answer questions for the users. One approach would be to use a reference architecture and customize that based on our needs. So, we will do just that. PCI comes pre-integrated with NVIDIA's production AI software, including NVIDIA NIMS for deploying a variety of different models, as well as NVIDIA Blueprints, which are reference architectures for specific use cases that can also be deployed on PCI, making it very easy for customers to quickly test an end-to-end -end use case and customize it for their needs. There might be an NVIDIA blueprint that matches well with our flight support agent use case. Therefore, we as an AI application developer navigate to the NVIDIA's blueprint repository to check if we have something we can use. So let's see what we have there. Here we can see an overview of several different blueprints. Each NVIDIA blueprint provides a deployable reference architecture that supports a specific use case. So, let's take a look at the AI Virtual Assistant here. The AI Virtual Assistant deploys a virtual assistant that can help your customers by answering questions related to their orders or their profiles. As you can see, we can choose customer profiles from a variety of profiles here. Each profile has their own purchase history as well as their own order state. For now, let's continue with John Doe. We can ask a standard question here and see what happens. In the background, the AI system is running an agent workflow. It is deciding what kind of question is being asked and then determining which tool should be used to answer this question. The agent will then look up the information according to the question and come back with the response based on the information that it can pull from either a database or an existing knowledge repository using Retrieval Augmented Generation or RAD pipeline. You can see here the agent comes back and answers the question for the user. But how is this implemented? We can take a look at the blueprint card to see the architecture diagram. This is the reference architecture that's implemented by the use case. We can see various components that would be very difficult to deploy on its own. But we have it here packaged together and it becomes much easier to deploy it as an entire use case. But what if you would want to run this on-premise, so on the HPE Private Cloud AI? In order to do that, we go back on the homepage of HPE Private Cloud AI. We can navigate to Tools and Frameworks in order to import our own custom framework. We want to import the assistant we have just seen. So let's click here. We will provide a name. As well as a description. Let's put this in the bucket data science and upload an icon for it. On this page, we can either upload a new hand chart, or actually, I've been uploading this before, so we can just reuse it. We can provide a specific namespace for it. And on this page, we can review some of the values we can find in the hand chart. At the very end, we can review the whole custom framework, and now we will just deploy it. Actually, I already did prepare our AI virtual assistant before this video, so we don't have to wait. We can go ahead and click on open. And here we can see the interface you are already familiar with. It's exactly the same. So we have seen an easy way to deploy a blueprint from NVIDIA on HPE's private cloud AI. Of course, we can further optimize this, including updating data sources with our customers' data, changing the UI or a variety of other customizations and enhancements for making this ready for production.
HPE and NVIDIA's Driver Cloud AI makes it very easy for us as an AI application developer to quickly deploy and test these NVIDIA blueprints on the system. This saves a large amount of time, setting up the infrastructure for us and also the pipelines that are typically required for such an extensive application.